Hello my YouTube friends, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another unbiased, uncut, no bull video. It's one of the three next videos in the series that I would like to talk about uh, Tesla Powerwall 2. The first one will be why did we get it in the first place. So it was an easy decision but uh, the purchase like that you do need to justify in some way and uh, I think the biggest thing for us was to protect household from blackouts and uh, we've got kid, we've got uh, other things that are important to us like we're working from home, IT equipment need to run um, so we would buy local UPS but it's becoming quite expensive exercise so uh, a battery not necessary power wall was on the cards second one was to protect household from uh, brownouts i'm not sure if everyone familiar with brownout is it's basically a drop in um, electricity frequency and that's the biggest killer of modern electronic devices and brownouts could uh, in, in the past uh, brownouts kill my uh, tv and uh, the older uh, solar inverter so it depends on the intensity of brownout they could be dangerous the third one and it's kind of a little bit uh, obscure one it's to maximize solar contributions uh, in australia there's a law when a power grid goes down solar should cut off you will not generate any solar power in event of the battery the batteries totally isolate grid from a solar so solar has no idea that there is no electricity in the grid and uh, it will keep running supplying electricity either to the battery or to the household and the third one it's very debatable could be not true save money but i will touch on that later so how did we get to the point uh, to buy powerwall 2 there are really good number of very good uh, batteries in the market like uh, lg like uh, others i don't want to name names but uh, there's a lot of good um, companies that provide um with good options the first one is overall battery capacity the capacity of the battery is a uh, 13.5 kilowatts the another one is and probably why it was clear winner is uh output of the battery it can take in and output five kilowatts it's significant amount of power then um people that ever use tesla cars or tesla battery would know how good tesla monitoring system is i don't want to stop there but it, honestly trust me i thought the fronius was good monitoring system tesla has amazing one then as you can see it's very slim form it does not intrude in household it can be on the ground it's totally sealed it could be on the wall like what we do here it's actually becoming a feature of the house so that's what we like as well the other batteries look like batteries and we didn't want that um it is climate control there's a, on the side here you probably almost can see a radiator uh, so it's uh, water or liquid cooled inside it's totally sealed it's uh, what Tesla almost says it's a fireproof I wouldn't go as far as that but uh, uh, it could be on the sunny side on a uh, cold side doesn't matter it's temperature control this climate control itself then warranty Tesla provides uh, with um, 10 years warranty however there's a really big however they do control how battery operates so if you disconnect your battery from wi-fi um they will avoid your warranty and the last one is support um it will be totally separate video in a uh, part two or three i don't remember uh, how i planned it but i will describe um, my experience with support we did have a couple of hiccups in the first year which were all promptly resolved the support is awesome now not only rosa road why not to buy powerwall 2 well the cost is phenomenal in australia it cost uh, depends who you buy from but installed between 12 to almost twenty thousand dollars it's quite significant amount of uh, money i'm talking about australian dollars by the way so another one people talking about uh, payback is it worthwhile to get a battery i don't want to go on that uh, um, 
Sabi because everyone got different contracts, different uh, purchase uh, uh, powers, price and everything else. Uh, but payback very depends on many factors. Um, and the last one is out of pocket expense. Uh, frankly, no, everyone in this world has money to fork out significant out of pocket expense if you buy it outright. So it brings me to the point, why did we get it? So first of all, it was limited time when Queensland government provided us with uh, $3,000 rebates. It's basically $3,000 straight off the price battery. The second one, Queensland government provided us with $6,000, no interest, no um, setup fees, no anything, uh, loan of, of $6,000. Uh, basically, it's fifty dollars a month, and it's something that reduced price significantly out of pocket straight away. Not reduced price, but out of pocket expense. So we basically bought battery installed nine thousand dollars less than ticketed price. And third one was ticketed price, which was in our case twelve and a half thousand dollars. So we were being out of pocket only. It's, it's a significant amount of money, but for what it is, only three and a half thousand dollars right so um so far that's all about why how and and everything else um i will video a couple of other parts is uh, um, support experience and also um other parts with uh, uh that i plan um about tesla tesla powerwall let me know if there are more details that you would like me to uh, to video a record about uh, Tesla Powerwall and I'll try uh, to accommodate. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, like if you like this video and please let me know if there's anything else I could, um, I could, I could record in the future. Thank you so much for watching.